Hello friends, welcome again. This is Rajan. I hope you are doing great. So if you are new to this channel, I'm Rajan and I do full time trading. Uh, I would suggest you to start with my first video on this channel so that you understand what I do. It's been one year since I started cash market trading and I just thought I would show my one year profit and loss statement. How much did I make and is it better than my IT job? Let's go and check it out first and uh, and then i'll also explain you the struggles that i faced initially uh, when i started trading and how i overcame uh, those problems and how you can also start from scratch and make this kinds of returns please make sure to watch every part of the video please do not skip any part so that you understand everything okay friends so this is my zero the console dashboard uh, you guys know that i started trading in cash market entirely from last august so uh, this is august 2020 uh, let's go this is july so it's it's almost one year just a couple of weeks or there i'm posting it only because uh, many were asking about my one year profit and loss so i just thought i would do it right away um the profits are going to only increase in two weeks but i just want to do it anyway it's very close to one year um so uh let me also first refresh it so that you guys are very clear um, because there is a lot of uh, inspect element uh, scams going on so uh, yeah apart from this dashboard i'm also going to show you all <coughs> all the trade books out all the trades in the trade book so uh, you guys are uh, clear okay so this is august till july 6th okay last august 2020 till july 2021 so almost one year the realized profits is 61 lakhs and uh, if you exclude the charges um, the realized profit is 59 lakhs and my unrealized profits are 66 almost 67 lakhs so if you do the math uh, where is the calculator let me just a second guys so basically if you do the math it is around 1.26 crores for the one year in cash market so uh, which is a great thing so uh, which i didn't think i would be able to do this in cash market honestly speaking but thanks to the bull run um, i made most use of it i worked really hard i focused so much so let me just explain you um the entire one year what i was doing what i was planning and uh, so in the month of august i started buying in cash market uh, mainly because it was very easy for me in terms of uh, position sizing and risk management i was able to think just like that uh, in my mind without having to rely on a calculator or a template because uh, apart from that uh, it also gave me the uh, liberty to hold on to the trade for as much as possible unlike uh, futures where i have to exit uh, during the expiry so that was kind of a irritating part for me so i thought i would fully trade only in cash market and trust me that was the best thing i ever did uh, last year and uh, yeah so in the first from august till probably till december i invested only in large caps and some mid caps okay uh, basically pd light um hdfc life itc asian pains um, bharat forge or you know uh, nifty 50 or nifty 200 fno stocks mostly uh, because i was trying to play safe little and then uh, once i saw the taste of it that how powerful is the cash market trading is I started to invest in mid cap as well okay so uh, if you guys notice in January February March uh, you would see that there is no trading activity but in fact that is these are the three months that I bought a lot of stocks because I did not exit anything but I just bought a lot of stocks in these three months if you look at nifty So if you look at the nifty the nifty started to consolidate after the february right uh, it consolidated from february till april so this is the time when i started to buy a lot of uh, small caps and mid caps because nifty was consolidating but not uh, mid cap or small cap uh, there were many uh, small caps and mid cap stocks that 
गिव मी अ रियली गुड ब्रेकआउट सो आई स्टार्टड इन्वेस्टिंग इन दैट एंड इफ यू लुक एट द एग्जिट्स ऑल दीज और स्मॉल स्मॉल एग्जिट्स विच आई रियली डेंट कैर सो वॉट एवर आई बॉट इन दीज जनवरी फेब्रवरी मार्च एंड एप्रिल आई स्टार्टड टू बुक द प्रॉफिट्स इन द मंथ ऑफ uh may june and july and also at the end of april if you look at it i booked 6 lakh so uh at this point uh, i was very confident so again the same thing whatever i made profits in these 3 months i started uh, booking the profits and also reallocated reinvested into another small caps and mid caps so uh this is the uh realized profit this is what has happened till uh, may and june and uh, this is what is the result of whatever i compounded i mean the compounded profits so a uh, compounding is a real magic uh, trust me uh, if uh, for the first 5 to 6 months it was very boring i'll tell you, uh, you if you just look at it 6 uh, months back i posted my 6 months profit and loss statement if you look at it Uh, until january my unrealized profit was just 22 lakhs and realized it was 2 lakhs uh, mainly because if you notice it i was trading only in large caps and the returns were not that great but i was profitable okay uh, and the moment i moved into the mid caps and small caps it started compounding like anything because uh, minda industry be it minda industry or black rose or granville norton or there are lot of stocks that i have not posted in youtube uh, please make sure to check my website i have made a small course where i have explained all the trade not all but mostly all the trades and i've made that into a course i'm very sure you will love it um, so just go to my website you can watch that a uh, video i mean the course for free it's completely free yeah coming back again to the losses that is very important right uh, if you notice this is 63000 loss this is 4500 uh, this loss has been already explained this is nothing but itc i made an order error in both itc and uh dabber i have explained in detail in a video i will just link it below in the description you can check it out and this one is j corp okay uh j corp also i posted a video on that and please make sure to check it i think where is j corp yeah this is the j corp and also when i exited with a loss i also made sure i you know updated that in the comments so as far as losses are concerned uh, i made three losses and um, the total number of trades if you look at here it is 105 um this is unique stocks okay so but i traded many times like for example i traded asian paints many time i traded pd light many time hdfc life many time so uh, the number of trades are more than at least 130 or 140 i'm not really sure uh, it could be also 120 also so uh, yeah so out of all the trades i've made three losses and uh, uh, this is mainly because of the bull run for sure and uh, thanks to the market but there is also my um, perfect entries and perfect stop loss perfect target i really knew where to exit uh, for instance tata motors uh, that was really a great exit i was lucky but at times i'm also unlucky guys for example in j corp uh, if you look at the j corp story right after i exited i think i exited that let me check this is uh, 29th of april i'll show you guys wait so 29th so this is where i entered uh, i exited right i think i e- entered here i exited here correct and then it gave amazing move so i missed 50% of my profits and yeah but the maximum loss that i incurred is 84000 in the last one year and the maximum profit that i made is 20 lakhs so that is how you deal with the loss and the profit so your loss should be minimal and your profit should be maximum that is a key and uh, if you follow this rule i'm sure everyone can pull it off um so what else what else is there uh yeah trade book so uh let me start with the tata motors only so 
so this is my tata motors let's look at the buy not sure why okay so tata motors buy oh, sorry this one uh, okay so if you look at this i bought it last november 4th and uh, this these are the orders please go through it uh, the reason why i'm showing you this is because i cannot show you my uh console where all the trades because i'm still holding a lot of stocks and i do not really want to show it publicly because there uh, you don't know the uh, you know repercussion behind after that because everyone will start to message where shall i buy shall i enter here and there was also a guy uh if you don't reply i will suicide something like that so um i i'm a very simple guy so i don't want any kind of problems so that is the reason why i'm not showing my holdings i still hold around 30 stocks uh, so what i can do is i can show you all the uh, you know whatever i showed in my channel i'm going to show you now okay so let's start with uh, tata motors is done okay tata power tata power i have not exited but i have bought 20 2750 quantity uh bought it on march uh, what is this april 2nd okay and what else is there a uh, grindwell northern so this is my grindwell northern trades trade books uh, please go through it you can cross check it and what else minda industry thing it's minda industry oh yeah so these are the trade books um i'm still holding on to it so that is why you don't see uh the uh, sell orders okay uh what else black rose i've shown black rose so this is the buying orders of black rose i bought it last november generally there were many question as to why you are not showing the holdings uh, it's because to avoid unnecessary noise for example this phase it was really really hard for me to hold on to these uh, consolidation i'll be very honest i'm just like every trader even i have emotions right so holding on to these uh, days these three days the drawdowns were very huge for example my profit was from 41 lakhs to 11 or 12 lakhs my profits went from 41 to 11 to 12 lakhs again same thing happened it slowly climbed back to 35 lakhs profits again it went down to 10 lakh profit again my portfolio went up slowly to 25 30 lakhs profits again it went up to 9 lakh profit on this day it went so the peak was around 42 lakhs then i saw 9 lakhs so uh, how did i manage this emotion because i cut out the noise i don't watch news i don't be a part of any whatsapp groups that you know creates unnecessary noise like the corona wave is coming second wave is coming the uh, market is going to crash like first wave these are unnecessary noise guys uh, if the f- crash is coming that you can see it in your chart i was very sure that this is just a consolidation because look at the trend and look at this this is just a consolidation phase i was very sure probably when uh, this was this were to break i would have worried a lot okay when this is broken i would have worried a lot but no so i stick the to this uh, i did not sell even one correct let me go to my profit and loss i did not even sell one stock during this crisis uh, only the j corp was a mistake uh, yes um, things happen and already my stop loss was very huge uh, so i just thought i would not increase my loss further right so uh, my f- loss or minimal that is my entire goal and uh, yeah uh, and also I, f- i think i forgot to show the bail right just make sure to check that a uh, free course guys i'm very sure you will like it um there are few trades that are very interesting which i have explained in detail okay 
so this is the bail order i think i made a profit of 4 lakh 50000 i forgot but just you just do the math you will get the answer okay i think i posted this in telegram when i exited this trade so you can also join my telegram for some updates so when it comes to capital allocation um it's quite complicated to explain because i uh, invested 10 lakh i started with 10 lakhs in the month of august and then i made some profits and then i increased it to 20 and then 30 lakhs and then again i increased it so whatever uh, profits that i made from uh, in the month of uh, december and january i compounded it and i invested in small caps that further gave me uh, good profits and then i reinvested that profits into several other stocks which is what 1.26 crore and again my current uh, uh, capital that i am using is around not less than 1 crore and it's l more than 1 crore okay and and i did not convert 10 lakhs into 1 crore i want you to be clear so uh, the capital allocation and the profits that i generated in the middle of december and you know may especially during may and june this is the crucial time when i booked a lot of stocks this is the maximum profit that i generated so uh yeah that i mean uh, the entire the entire thing happened in the may, april may and june guys because uh if i had not done that my profits would have been around totally around 6 to 70 lakhs because you have to exit at some point and you have to reinvest that is how compounding works and uh, i am happy that i did the right thing and i think i would do the same in the continue you know in the next coming years and uh, uh, one common question that i got is uh, rajan you are making money when the market is in bull run so what would you do uh, when the market is in sideways it's very simple i would do the same uh, what i did in the month of uh, february march this period right so according to the situation i would i, I will uh, you know improvise my situation uh, be it uh, buying stocks or let's say the market is crashing i will just make money like how i made during the corona crash you can check how much i made uh, in the first three months uh, so that you would get an idea about that okay so um, it's very simple it's about how you stick to the trend when the market is trending you just buy when the market is in sideways you just stay put and you don't do anything and when the market is downtrend you just shot it okay and sticking to the trend is not very complicated thing right so you just buy when the market is trending but it's not that easy there are a lot of techniques there uh, you know the perfect entry and exit but this is the common thing this is a very simple thing okay so let me also show you the um, breakdown of charges look at the brokerages it is very small uh, 2800 uh, that is the reason why you choose discount brokerage but look at this daylight robbery security transaction tax 1,73,318 this is literally daylight robbery guys because apart from this I also have to pay for short term gain uh, tax STCG short term capital gain tax um, so that really sucks uh, this especially STT I, I really don't know why the hell they are charging this. Okay, so 2016 is when I started trading and the people who had been trading from 2016 and 17, they should know this famous strategy called top gainers and top losers. You know, there is this famous strategy where you select the stocks from uh, top gainers and top losers and you, you just put on five some uh, indicators and five oscillators like RSI, MACD and uh, ADX and indicators like moving average ema vwap and what else what not uh, you put this indicators and when these indicators give you this uh, you know a signal you just go buy it this strategy i followed it for one year trusting this person and uh, i'll show you how much i lost following this strategy okay uh, because this strategy works only during the trending market when the nifty moves really well and that is like what 25 percent not even 25 percent or almost 20 percent of the market so i lost this uh, because i did not know that 
uh, the person that i am learning from he was making only from the training and not trading he is not a trader and i realized this only after one and a half years uh, so the first thing for a beginner uh, to do is to learn from the right people because uh, the reason why i'm really frustrated is because uh, what if i had the same knowledge 2 years back 3 years back uh, i would have made three times the money that i made now uh, it's not about the money that i paid for him that's okay but the time that i lost two years of my trading career lost because i followed the wrong people and uh, as a beginner you would not know if he is a right person or wrong because when you are learning new things you would think that okay this guy is knowing so much he must be a legit so uh, don't uh, judge a person based on his knowledge everyone can do that just uh, reading two books or just enrolling to two courses he can teach whatever he wants but you can judge a person by only one thing and that is by knowing his one year profit and loss statement or at least six months profit and loss statement if he is not willing to show please avoid that person no matter how many subscriber he has uh, this guy whom i learned from he had more than 50k subscribers back then uh, uh, like in 2016 50k subscribers is huge right uh, so no matter how huge the subscribers is no matter how you know beautifully he teaches trust him and follow his strategies only if he shows is one year or six months profit and loss statement trust me only if you follow this uh half of the you know bullshit is gone you can finally focus on the strategies and your problems correct uh so yeah uh he may come up with some excuses like i am not uh, i cannot give up my privacy or why should i show my personal things uh yeah you cannot show your personal thing but why in the first place you show 10 lakh profit or 5 lakh profit or 50000 profit in the first place right uh you cannot just show 10 lakh profit and not show the one year profit and loss statement so that really doesn't make sense correct so uh if the guy is only teaching you concept right from the beginning then that is completely fine he, he need not show anything but if he is showing 2 lakhs 3 lakhs profits please make sure he is earn, uh, he is also showing at least 6 months or one year profit and loss statement uh, and and after that i realized that this is not going to work. so it took me more than one and a half years to two years to realize i learn i'm learning from the wrong person and then i started enrolling in foreign courses and i started reading every books about technical analysis that i could find like support and resistance and what not uh, the support and resistance i followed it for again more than 6 to 7 months it really didn't work for me no matter what uh, i failed like anything in nifty bank nifty the thing is you just keep on learning from multiple sources and then you just have to uh, stick on to whatever is making sense to you so i finally concluded that okay i'm going to trade only in triangle channel pattern and trend lines because uh, it made sense to me the risk reward was very good for me uh, in support and resistance my risk reward is either 1 is to 1 or 1 is to 2 but in triangle pattern and channel pattern my risk rewards were always 1 is to 4 1 is to 3 1 is to 5 also so i thought triangle uh channel and trend line made more sense to me so i totally neglected support and resistance uh, it's been 2 years since i uh you start i mean it's been more than 2 years since i stopped using support and resistance and trust me that is the best thing ever for me personally i am not saying support and resistance is wrong uh you can use it but for me i am not going to use it okay so last year i was facing some uh, issues in terms of diversification so the problem was i was finding many setups like since the market was trending i was finding multiple setups and i really didn't know where to enter i mean which stocks to prefer so what i did i just invested in everything like uh at a particular point of time i invested more than 45 stocks and that is why uh, if you notice my first 6 months profit is just 23 lakhs and what i did i learned from you uh, know the pro, you know the i learned multiple books and i came to know that uh, only through concentrated portfolio you make huge returns so uh, this i learned from uh, joy of compounding and also mark minervini uh, books uh, so i thought i would just concentrate even now i have 30 stocks in my holdings you may ask me what that is not concentrated portfolio but here is 
where I did something uh, which turned out really well. So here is what I did. Capital allocation based on the conviction of the setup. Yes, I do have 30 stocks in my current holdings, but the maximum capital allocation is only on five stocks. So I went huge on several stocks. Uh, for example, Tata Motors, uh, Minda Industries, and there are multiple stocks which I'm still holding that have huge allocation. So that is the reason why in the next six months, you see a jump from 23 lakhs to 1.3 crore because I allocated more capital in the setups that I think will move. So capital allocation based on the conviction towards the setup really amazing and it worked really well. Uh, initially, if you are a beginner, just allocate 5%, learn, I mean, earn uh, small returns for one year, like 12%, 13%, 15%, 20%. And then once you get the consistency, you can allocate, uh, I would not say the percentage, but you can allocate more than 5% based on the conviction. For, ex for me, I know that Minda industry is going to break like anything. And that is why I invested a lot in that stock. So the allocation was based on the conviction. How did I get the conviction? Through experience. So don't do uh, this kind of in, I mean allocation initially allocate 5% to 7% initially and then you know slowly uh, transform to this method and I'm sure you will be able to compound the profits like anything here is something that most of the people try to teach is focus uh, you have to be extremely focused and attentive in stock market because uh, one in one stock I forgot to put an alert I drew the pattern I did the homework, I do. I go through the stocks for like 2-3 two, two, hours every day, no matter what, no matter what is going on with my personal life, I go through all the stocks. So on this particular day, I forgot to put an alert on this particular stock. And after 2 days, I came to know that this stock moved 6% already. Uh, the only problem was I did not put the alert. Now I could not enter this stock because my uh, my stop loss was already 5% and the stock has already moved 6%. So now my stop loss would be 11%. So in this setup, I was not able to risk 12% because my target was around 30 to 40%. So that was not a great risk reward ratio for me. And I missed 7 lakhs guys. Just because I did not put an alert, how small mistake that is right uh, just because i did not put a small alert on this i missed seven lakhs so uh, what i wanted to tell you is that be extremely focused cut out the noise don't so i personally cut out the noise by not being in any whatsapp groups if you are a person who has been trading in stock market for a long time for be it option buying be it option selling or futures trading whatever it may be if you're not making money i would humbly request you to start with cash market trading just do it for three months and you will realize the potential it has uh, because it has worked wonder for not only me majority of the people in my community if you think this kind of accuracy is possible only for me uh, no there were a lot of people who had more than 90 percent accuracy and uh, you just give it a try for three months and you will change and you will completely shift towards delivery trades so if you think that a capital is not very huge uh, it's completely fine start with small capital even if it is 10,000 or 20,000 start with it any amount of profit is still better than no profit right even if it's a 500 rupees profit every month it is still better than losing in intraday and also please comment if you have been trading in swing trading and if you have been successful so that that acts as a motivation for a lot of people so finally what i wanted to say is learn from the right people stick to simple strategy and also follow risk management position sizing uh, cut out the noise trust me you will be able to make the same returns like I do. If you just follow all these things that I mentioned, I'm pretty sure you will be able to pull it off in just one year because if I can do it, you can also do it. I learned from the wrong people and wasted two years of my life. I would request not to do that. Follow the right people, learn simple strategies, follow risk management, position sizing. So let me just show you how much I lost in 2017 following the wrong people. This is my June 2017 to uh, I think December 2017 okay if you look at this all I made was losses uh, this is the result of following the wrong person and if you look at this um, 
i after december i started using another broker uh, which was providing like 40x leverage so whatever i lost in these 5 months i lost it in just in the next couple of months so uh, follow the right people if you follow the wrong people you would end up like this no matter what um i made this mistake so i would suggest not to do the same mistake that i did uh, in next video i'm going to post a very interesting multi year breakout small cap stock which is going to i don't know the target but it is a very interesting stock uh, interesting breakout multi year breakout uh, probably in 2 3 days i will post that so please make sure to like this video and comment if you think that i've been really helpful and also share it with your friends see you soon with another video thank you so much